Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruth and this is the gist with Ruthie. Guys, um, so basically I was venting in my room and then I thought, hmm, let me jump here and discuss my venting with you all. So um from today's eviction of the Big Brother Niger lockdown show, um season five actually. Um Ozo and Trickity was evicted from the show, right? And which leads us to the last five, the, the, the last five standing in the show, right? Which is um Nengi, V, Neo, um, Lekon, and um Dorothy. Okay, so as at last night, I think I was still thinking, hmm, it has to be Tricky T and Dorothy that will be evicted. But then on another thought, I'm like, hmm. What if it's Ozo instead of Dorothy, you know? Um, and just the way I thought about it, I mean, Ozo was evicted today. Now, to the main reason why I'm here today, guys, but just before I talk about that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe to this channel, you know? I drop in, gist, everything, um, once in a while as they go, okay? And sometimes it's after I don't pass, okay? But this one now, uh, at the drop as they go, so me not to say, I know tell you, I'll be not give my opinion. I'll be not wait at the reason. You understand how that you talk now? In other news, guys. <laughs> In other news, so um I'm here today, guys, to talk about the old Nengi shoving of all those um, keys, right? That I was trying to put to her after he was evicted from the show. And it really got the old social media. jeez. Oh, it really got your social media buzzing, okay, for the whole of today. So, uh, I really want to talk about it, okay? I want to talk about it before the whole issue slides. So, one second, I was thinking, hmm, why are people angry that Nengi refused to kiss us all? So, now, we've been in this house together for nine whole weeks. Oh, my God. We've been in this house together for nine whole weeks, and I haven't agreed to your proposal okay i've not agreed to date you i've not agreed to be in a relationship with you i've not agreed to be with you on that level just you know i'm saying and now just because you've been evicted you thought it's wise that i would want a kiss like seriously how how do you think i'm going to kiss you like did we you just and like you guys must have had some kind of conversations earlier before you now oh let me try to push this kiss forward okay at least our last kiss and then the other kept saying oh at least even if it's that kiss even if it's that kiss if she had kissed him that kiss, is this same you people that will come and say, oh, so she liked him all along. Why did she refuse to kiss him? This and that and that and that. Choo, 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 choo. She's been pretending. She's been this. She's been that. You supposed to be the ones to call her names. Like, how are we going to do all life How are we going to please the world? How do we want to please the world? Somebody tell me. How we want to please the world? She refused to give him the kiss, and then the whole world is buzzing. And memes started dropping and coming out and everything. I'm like, okay, let me just jump on this to talk about it. Like, no, you guys should let Nengi breathe, okay? She did not agree to any relationship with Ozo, and I did not think that it was right for Ogo, for not really Ogo. I did not think that it was right for Ozo to try to push a kiss down her lips or her cheeks or whatever it was trying to do right there, okay? And... Ozo was still shouting, Nengi, I love it. <laughs> Until after I was going out of out of the town, we're like, really, brah, <laughs> keep moving. <laughs> so, guys, that is that about that, okay? Um, you guys should let people stick with their plans. I get that Nengi is trying to protect her relationship outside of the outside of the house, which is why she's trying to um be defensive, okay? So let us see what happens outside of the house next week. At this time next week, we would have known with the winner of Big Brother Niger season five lockdown show is okay. So that being said, let me move into the ne next issue where I'm here today. So I want to vent. While I was crying on my way on Instagram, that's how I came across this video. Where Erica was invited to Daily Mamadou's house, okay, for a dinner or whatever. Let us take a second to watch the video and we'll be right back. Now, she has kids, kids cry, bro. Inside the doobie like this. Like, 
so guys what do you think about that video like i don't know i don't know what to say but let me tell you my opinion this is why i'm here like this is what is even annoying <laughs> okay in my opinion if you show up at my house without a bra i'm gonna turn you back at the door like i don't even want to know i don't care okay i will turn you back at the door yeah i can imagine what was going through what was going through Daily Momodu's wife at the time on that table, right? How could you show up at a, at a married man's house that has a wife and other grown-up children, you just showed up at his house without a bra, like sister, how? And I still saw her fans or fanatics or whatever they call themselves, elite or whatever, still supporting her on the, on the post, you know, saying that, ah, write down my star girl, Erika was star girl, Erika was this, Erika was that. I'm like, really? So, even when you put see something that is wrong, you, you guys will still go ahead to support because, because you are a fan or you are a fanatic. Because by the time you start believing everything that somebody does, whether good or bad, like you really don't care anymore. Okay, by the time you start saying, you, you start using the words like, Oh, she can do no wrong in my eyes. Okay, you have become a fanatic, right? Because now everything that the person does will just be sweeting you, will just be okay. Like, no. Okay, so let me give you guys an instance. When I was back home, I had younger kids then. So um, I had a maid. And one day she just finished dressing up and having a bath and all that. And then she just showed up <laughs> without a bra. Like how? How in the world? Will you be in this my house and be without a bra? So I, was, I think I was coming out of my kitchen here. So I, I just jumped. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of collided, collided in the walkway and I'm like ah, what? <laughs> let us take a minute backward like what am I looking at and I asked her sister come why are we why are you without a bra and then she said oh she she doesn't feel like I'm like what before I close my eyes before I open it like this go and start feeling like <laughs> Go and feel like before I descend on you. Because it just feels wrong. So I remember a video that surfaced online some months ago prior to when Regina Daniels had a baby. And I think it was a friend that came to visit and all that. And then she was she was she was saying sarcastically that oh we cannot allow ladies with big breasts like this come and be visiting us in our husband's house or something like that. Yeah, and you know, the whole social media too went ballistic, carried the statement and said, what well, well, and started saying stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, ladies trying to protect her, her, her property, okay, her husband, by saying what she said. And yeah, she said it playfully and jokingly, but then the world turned it around for her, of course. I mean, I don't think anything is wrong with what she said. Like, yeah, you, you, have, a big, you have a big boobs. Don't come and be greeting in my husband's house. She understand what I'm saying. So it just goes the same way for what Erica just portrayed here and i just feel that all wrong all wrong all wrong all wrong see i don't i don't understand the way we the way we follow people the way we take into cognizance everything that people do right but i think that it's really really important that um that we don't that we don't support every rubbish that is out there just because you think that you're a fan of somebody and then whatever the person does just pleases you or you're just okay with it okay sometimes let's try to say the truth the way it is guys at this very particular juncture i'm gonna be signing out okay <laughs> i'm just here to vent about the old um the old the, um, nengi dodging of keys and the old erica situation i found this um uh, evening i mean and I, I honestly i want i also want to say this i don't understand Daily Momodus um, is prerogative in trying to, I don't know, act all nice and good and cool with Kid Wire, even when, even when he was in the house. And Erica, too, now that she's been evicted, I don't understand the old relationship stuff that is trying to work or build or do whatever over there. But then, but then whatever it is, it is what it is, guys. Like, it's show business. So, yeah, shit got to go down sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And yeah, I try to keep it short. Trust me. Even though I know I talk a lot, I try to keep it short. <laughs> I try to keep this one short, okay? Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. And please, if you haven't subscribed, please do it to subscribe to this channel. Like, share, and...
comment okay let me see you drop your comment in the comment section down below um on what you think about these two issues i just talked about so i see you guys in my next video enjoy the rest of your night